Hi, Earth Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you guys your weeklies for this coming week of September 24th until the 30th, 2023. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information as well as the link to my new book, all about the paranormal baby, uh, called Accepting the Gift is down below, either in the description box as well as pinned to the top of the comment section below. So let's get started here. We're going to do a 15 card spread again. People loved it. I loved it. Lots of information. Starting off with Taurus. Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? <laughs> Sorry for that. All right. So somebody needs to correct the situation. They're get, finally getting out of their head. They could use a little bit more healing, which is kind of concerning, but they're going to, in my eyes, because uh, they're at the Eight of Swords. So I just feel like there's a lot of guilt. The Page of Wands is looking at the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Sun. So that tells me is that there's guilt. OK, whether they feel bad that they know that they cause a lot of mental anguish for you, they're coming back, showing the action. They want a new start here with the fool and they're willing to give that attention and uh, into this relationship again. The guilt is 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 what's what's driving them cray cray here. OK, they can't seem to live with themselves, you know. Um, but, yeah, they have to. They're one of those people that loves to fix things, you know. Uh, you know, they can't live with themselves if they can't, if they don't. Okay. They can't stop thinking about you here. They totally miss you. They know how much you miss them. This is a soulmate. I feel with that two of cups energy here. I feel like they are definitely ready to show that action. You could be dealing with fire energy, but their intentions are real in regards to getting that fulfillment. Now you have two tens and they're positive tens. You got the Ten of Cups as well as the Ten of Pentacles. So they really want to give. I feel like they uh, ghosted you here because they're making me subtract the Six from the Ten. <clears throat> Excuse me, of Pentacles. And that's the Four of Pentacles. And that's being quiet, okay? But they are totally bounced now, ready for this, okay? They would understand if you're frustrated, if you didn't want to take that next step with them here. It's been a battle for them too, but they healed their energy and realized now that it's time to step forward and to make a final choice decision here to speak the truth. Nice. Libra energy does not have to be, uh, but definitely they're frustrated and they would understand if you didn't believe them or what have you, but they are coming back. Now, whatever the reason is, I just feel that it's natural guilt. It could be because of that seven of swords. It could be uh, third party, but I'm not really feeling it. There's not a three here present, but uh, take what applies. Definitely. I feel if anything, it's like they know that they were wrong and they're incredibly sorry. Okay. I'm surprised I don't see the page of cups or page of pentacles here. But anyway, after a long time of waiting and lack of communication here, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. There's tears of joy. I feel hearing from this person. You're going to speak your mind. You're going to have a good old conversation. You're going to kind of, uh, you know, have control of the reins in this conversation for sure. Uh, with that Queen of Swords looking at that Page of Swords. Now your significant other could be a younger type of energy as well. But really, you're going to, you're not going to be mean about it. You know, I never met a mean Taurus, you know. Uh, well, maybe one. Oh, anyway, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, no, but um, definitely you're going to speak your mind. You know, to me, she represents Libra and I speak my mind sometimes, probably too much at times. Uh, so let's go up and down the row here uh, to get more messages. Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, clarified by... You got the Five of Cups clarifying that Seven of Pentacles. You got the Justice card clarifying that Nine of Wands. So they understand if you're going to be frustrated, but they are speaking the truth with that justice, okay? They really do think about you. They really do miss you. And they know that they got you in that state of mind. Uh, I just heard somebody says the saying, ruffled my tail feathers. Who says that? Hey, that's cool. I like that expression. Uh, but yeah, they're going to really try. I do feel this is a soulmate to take that next step. The guilt is like basically making them cray cray. They're coming back to fix things with that sun card, which is the yes card. 
Uh, they're going to show that determination. They, they they are expecting a little bit of a rare a fight here, but you know they went through a battle too because you know uh, the guilt is intense. I gotta say I'm feeling quite bad myself. I'm picking up on whoever's energy out there. They want a new start. They want a fresh start. They just want to talk about it and be done with it and move on here. They want that fulfillment of love with you with that Ten of Cups here and heal the situation you are their wish. So they're going to be given uh, into this relationship again. There is this completion after lack of communication, staying quiet. There's a decision by you whether or not you want to take them back. I do feel for majority of you, you're going to take them back. That's what that tells me. Um, after a long time of lack of communication, there's tears of joy, but you're going to own the show, you know, is what that says with that page and that queen of swords. You're going to speak your mind, girlfriend. Absolutely. So tell them how it is, you know, I don't feel you guys are going to be mean about it. Just, you know, simply state, these are the things that I went through. This is what I don't want to go through anymore, you know, with you. So, and just let it be known, you know, I'm no Dr. Rue, so you do you. Um, definitely Virgo. All right. Virgo here. Somebody's done. Virgo, you are so done. You could have been done with the job as well with that Ace of Pentacles here. Uh, but regardless, you're getting your groove back on. You're getting your balance back on. It's going to take some time. There's going to be a few kinks along the way. Uh, but definitely, I feel that you're going to basically tell yourself uh, you're going to have like an emotional day, maybe week. I don't know. You know, but it's kind of like, you know what? These guys sound like me. I swear, I think I have a uh, Taurus in me. Uh, but yeah, not Taurus, Virgo, sorry. Uh, I definitely have some air, or my God, dead talk. Or a sign in me here. I do feel somebody's not sleeping very well. Or they've been laying in their bed way too long. That's a little bit of depression here. Uh, but yeah, you're going to have a new start, uh, Virgo. Don't you worry about it, okay? Uh, you're going to... I literally feel somebody sitting up in their bed, having a meltdown, a cry, a good old cry. Good old cries are good, you know? Uh, to get it off your chest here, as my dad would say. Uh, and then you literally will say, look, I'm done with this. I'm just done with uh, my life either going in the wrong direction or in regards to a relationship or what have you. I need to get my, my, my dad used to say, get your act together. So you're going to get your act together here. Uh, and you're really going to cut out that, um, you know, the nightmare stage of crying and getting up. And if you are resonating with this, you know, this is what's drawing my attention to that. That's wild. I've never seen that before. It's like the bed's worn through, you know, I have no idea what that is, but that's what it looks like. Oh, I guess it's their nightgown. Oh, that's weird. Why is the top part yellow and the rest is red? Okay. Uh, but yeah, definitely, you're going to cut that energy out here. Sometimes I don't even realize what a card looks like. I just go with it. All right. So here we go. After quite some time. Now, you could be seeing like um, a therapist for this, especially for those of you who are dealing with a slight bit of a depression. Okay. And there's nothing wrong. I had depression back in 2002. All right. So, you know, even I have had depression. Uh, believe it or not. But yeah, and I bounce back. You'll be fine, okay? Definitely. Uh, give this some time. You will be feeling better, absolutely. You're going to make that choice to bring bounce back into your life again. You're going to find your happy place again. It's going to take some time. You're going to have your bumps along the way. All right. So I feel that also there's a special message here. You do have the power couple of the king and queen of wands. Uh, fire sign energy does not have to be. But I do feel that this person, uh, you know, I don't feel like it's definitely a fire sign, but that's determination to come back to communicate. Now, for that situation, for those people, okay, not the um, the ones that have to heal their energy, that's a different type of, um, this is a different type of group of people here that I'm picking up. Uh, they are coming back, they're rushing back, it's going to take place. This is going to uh, happen quickly, out of the blue, I feel. Uh, you're not going to know. Well, hopefully now you do. Uh, but definitely there's tears of joy not happening, or 
tears of joy and happiness here for sure, not depression. So anyway, so there's two different energies going on. I can really feel that energy of someone being really, really sad. You'll get through this, but I literally feel that you're going to sit up in bed and literally say, okay, there, there's still tears rolling. And you're going to say, that's it. I'm done. I'm done being this way. I'm done being sad all the time. You'll get there. You'll be okay. I promise. I do. You got the star. So you take that time. You can talk to somebody to, uh, uh, you know, on a professional level. <laughs> uh, when you hear from this person, mostly because I feel that it's going to be kind of abrupt, you know, kind of out of the blue here. What are you doing back? You know, kind of thing. Uh, and then you're going to instantly like, giggle because I instantly heard, I'm just kidding. I missed you too. I couldn't stop thinking of you. And then there's going to be laughter. So, but you might rip them a little bit here, Virgo. <laughs> uh, you know, with uh, like the shock of a lifetime, you know. Uh, but definitely, let's do the up and down here. Uh, Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords. So, um, emotionally cut that out, okay? Uh, you need to move forward. You're going to have a new start here, okay? Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Star. So for those of you who are suffering uh, with emotional uh, issues here, you're going to have a new start. You're going to get better and you're going to heal with that start energy. Uh, whereas in regards to a relationship that is going to be rebooming again, there's definitely power couple, determination, action being taken, new fresh start, tears of happiness because you're getting your wish fulfillment and healing an old situation. Queen of Wands, Tower, Ten of Pentacles. So... Baby, you've done good. Uh, you have had that determination to get through H-E-double-L -L or double, <laughs> double broomsticks, you know. Uh, but definitely, um, it was tough for you, but you bounced your life out good for you, definitely. It's been a long journey, absolutely. Uh, and I feel for the people that are kind of sad right now, uh, you're going to make it through this, okay? You really, really are, for sure. Uh uh, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, clarified by the King of Wands and the Ten of Cups here. This tells me this is a long journey, but they are returning for this fulfillment of love and showing that action back with that King of Wands present. Eight of Swords, Temperance, Five of Wands. This is definitely for that person who is uh, very sad right now. You know, it seems like it's never going to end kind of thing. You know, the sadness meaning uh, give it some time. Give yourself patience here. This has been a battle for you. Go talk to somebody definitely professional, okay? This is you going to the right people with that justice card, okay? And showing your frustrations as well because you're sad. You can't seem to get at your um, everything off of your mind kind of energy, okay? In regards to love, uh, Virgo, I feel that there's definitely, um, you know, like, what are you doing back here? While well, they're ready to clear things up, communicate again. And then you're going to be kind of like, ah, whatever. I missed you too, and I can't stop thinking of you too. It was kind of cute energy. That's why I giggled. Uh, but anyway, that is what I have for the sign of Virgo. Uh, for those of you who are in that state of mind of um, sadness, my purse to you, you can do this. You can pull yourself through, believe me. So moving on to Capricorn. Capricorn. Ooh, somebody's coming in quickly, Capricorn. Alrighty. I'm feeling that somebody's rushing back in. You got the Knight of Swords looking at that tower, but the hand of the higher font next to that Knight of Swords tells me, I don't want to hear from you. <laughs> That's what it tells me. I'm a little messed up, you know, uh, you know, my energy's a little off. You really confused me during this when all I wanted was fulfillment of love. That's you guys. It can be fixed. Give it some time. Hear them out. Give them some patience, you know, uh, you know, have some patience with them. It's going to take time to correct this situation for sure, but it can be manageable. I just heard manageable. This relationship can work. It can take that next step if given the chance here. Yeah, good old communication. My parents always used to say the key to any relationship is through communication here. You know, even though they took their sweet time to come on back here, you know, 
Uh, but there is a little bit of worry of them walking away again, and that's kind of frustrating for you if they did that again and cut off that communication. I get that. They're here. They're present. They're ready to put the work back in. They mean what they say. They want better, you know, situation handled better here with themselves as well. They want a new fresh start with the fool here. They can't stop to think about it. I feel like they, they can see a future with you. I also, because I was smiling there, uh, I literally feel like they kind of rehearsed in their head. I love when I get that message. It's funny uh, to me. So it's kind of like planning out. Always remind, like that type of energy always reminds me of like right before I had like my very first job interview. I was so nervous and I'm like, get your name right, Deb. Get your age right. Get your social security number right. This is what it is. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that number, obviously, but you know what I mean. You planned it out in your head, okay? Uh, review things in your mind. That's what I'm feeling that your significant other here is doing. That's cute. I love that. That's a little nervous energy, but it's cute energy. Those are the kinds of energies where you just want to go off and squeeze their cheekies. Uh, let's go up and down here, Capricorn. Tower, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Rushing in, okay? Maybe a little bit too fast for you here. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, but they want that completion. They're willing to stay on the phone with you or text you all day if need to. Lots of smooth talking here, definitely. Knight of Swords, Temperance, Nine of Pentacles. So they took their sweet old time here to work on their energy. Now they know and they're coming on in, rushing on in. Some of you, I feel, are not going to uh, take accept them very uh, quickly here. You're going to be a little worried whether or not they're going to walk away or maybe you should walk away kind of thing. That doubt. Because they really got to Eight of Swords, Two of Cups, and Seven of Wands. Be a little frustrated still with them, and rightfully so. I understand that. And all the mental anguish that they kind of put you through too. So, but you two, this is a special soulmate relationship. And I do feel that if given the chance, the patience here to work on this and really, really listen to them. Not just one minute or not just one day or 15 minutes here. You know, really hear them out because there is a completion of taking that next step. That's nice. You got the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Swords. So everything can be resolved. All that stress can be resolved from that Eight of Swords, the frustration of the Seven of Wands here. It can be all forgiven and worked on if given the chance. And then you'll be able to be fulfilled with love, happiness here and taking that next step as well. They're coming back to Give it their all, okay? They really want this new start. They're thinking of you. They planned ahead in their head here. <laughs> it just makes me, because it reminds me of me when I used to do that. I don't do it anymore, but yeah, I don't think I have. Uh, but yeah, and they're really looking forward to the future with you. It's kind of cute. This guy is, or girl, is very um, kind of almost gullible feeling, you know, uh, kind of very golden retriever-ish. <laughs> it's kind of like, what can I do? What can I do? <laughs> You know, like the energy of a golden retriever. Uh, I only know that because I, my golden retriever is a puppy. So she's full of energy. She looks at you like, where can we go? Can we go for a walk? <laughs> like 24-7. Lots of energy this person does have. It's kind of cute. All right. So that's what I have for not just Capricorn, but for all the earth signs out there. Thank you all for watching. You guys rock. Have a great week. Be safe out there. And I'll definitely talk to you later. Bye.